When Sunshine said the president had their full support, they really meant it. Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. So Floating Scales Island is pretty high in the sky, and as far as I know anyway, I don't believe anyone has managed to get a horse on the island, until now. Green Magma's brother has built a contraption and I believe he may be the first player to get his horse on the island. The horse is sat in a rectangle wooden box and the machine uses 14 fans to lift him up to the island. The trick is to avoid him despawning. King of Seagulls is a loyal engineer at the KSP. That's the Korok space program. His previous experiments include the Korok rocket, which wasn't exactly fruitful. Now he's back and his latest experiment, my god, it's working. actually reached the stratosphere with 12 Korokstronauts. Originally, there was 15, but three fell from the craft. Let's all take a moment to remember our fallen comrades. This is brilliant. The Korok is placed on a motor that will spin. The Korok spins and then turns the wheel with the propeller on top. It's essentially using the Korok as a gear. And speaking of gears... Throwaway's boyfriend says she's playing the game wrong, but what do you think? Personally, I agree, she is playing it wrong. There aren't nearly enough Koroks. Cute for Boredom wanted to share his girlfriend's Hudson motorcycle design and there's one part in particular that impressed me. This kickstand for when the stabilizer isn't powered is genius. Great design. Dedramonic had some thoughts about how this could go, but the result was an absolute shock. <laughs> Turns out balloons don't need to be upright to work. Noted. Dude does has a new hobby and he's calling it the Gleok Toss. First, you need to get it stunned. Dude does then whips out his tossing device from auto build. Essentially, it's a bunch of sleds attached to five stabilizers. You then scoop the sleds under the stun Gleok using Ultra Hand before powering the stabilizers. The game is to try and build the best tossing device. This one is using more of a rocket based setup. So if you watch yesterday's video, you'll know that Dr. Polo is on a quest to make the most inefficient glider. We showed you version 3. Now he's back with version 4. The new design features some angled logs, useless flame emitters, and a random piece of stone.
<laughs> Any thoughts on how to make it worse? So Jash discovered something really interesting with the Divine Helms. Jash equipped the Vamado Helm, but he's not alone. His sages also equip the helm. I believe this works for all Divine Helms. Jash tests with Vamado and Varadania. Perfect time for a blood moon. Me when I first saw Gloom Hands. Yeah, immediately no. Immediately no. Immediately no. Like, like instantly, I was like, yeah, no. That was that was my thought. Yuran120 has shared a new Gundam build, and this time he's built the Musai class light cruiser. Probably pronounced that wrong. He's using an upside down boat from Tonoko Island to make the main body of the ship, which is smart. Most people are building vehicles and mechs. Great Gassy is overthrowing governments. I'm gonna try and keep this spoiler free, but a lot of people have been struggling on this quest. The trick is to move slowly, which is the opposite of like what every player does. Turn slowly in circles until the radar is full. The thing he's getting you to walk towards is in the room, not out of the door. Meat cooking. Everybody has their methods. Sorel built this auto meat cooker, and it's pretty cool. Slight bodybuilder has a different and way more risky approach. Today I learned that Dinral can cook raw meat placed on his body. Have you guys ever seen a silver battle squad? So you can use recalled arrows to reunite Koroks with their friends. Attach your Korok buddy to the meat, then send him on his way.
Alex Pear might just be the luckiest player alive. Insanely lucky. If I was him, I'd be straight out of that door and buying myself a lottery ticket. <laughs> Never mind. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.